As a respiratory therapist, of course you must know how to treat and care for adult patients. That's a given, right? With that said, it's often overlooked just how important it is to know how to care for neonatal and pediatric patients as well. Not to mention, you must know how for the TMC exam as well if you want to earn a passing score. So to help, in this video we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question on this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. An arterial blood gas sample has been ordered for a newborn infant and the physician has specifically requested arterialized capillary blood. Which of the following is the best site to obtain the sample? A. The fingertip B. The tip of the toe C. The lateral area of the heel or D. The earlobe You know the answer. Let's break it down. To get this one correct, you simply just needed to know that the lateral area of the heel is the preferred puncture site when collecting a capillary sample in infants. Which means that yes, I just gave away the correct answer, but let's break it down further. You could potentially use the infant's fingertip, toe, or earlobe if the lateral heel puncture is unsuccessful, but these are not the preferred sites. The heel is the preferred and typically most effective site to stick in infants. Also note that after you puncture the heel, you should wipe away the first drop of blood and observe for free flow before collection. You do not need to squeeze or milk the puncture site. Here's another important thing to remember. Capillary samples are useful only for assessing the infant's acid-base status, not their oxygenation status. The pH and PaCO2 correlate well with arterial blood. However, the PaO2 does not. So the acid base parameters from capillary blood correlate well with arterial blood, but the oxygenation parameters do not correlate well. So that is just a little tidbit to remember. But by using what we know about capillary blood sampling in infants, as well as the process of elimination, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C, the lateral area of the heel. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Well, what'd you think about these practice questions? Was it helpful breaking them down in a simplified way? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the temporary promotion that's going on by using the special link below. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. It's truly never been easier. All you have to do is sign up and we'll send the practice questions to your email address each and every day. Small tidbits of knowledge over time can add up to huge results. I'll drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.